How you doing? And thanks for watching. This is Georgia Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting and equipment. We're also getting into some accent lighting. As you can see here, we got a brand new 2021 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD. This particular customer wanted to get a little bit of accent lighting in the grill, by the wheels, and in the hood, in the nose vents. So we went with an RGB kit. It's Bluetooth controlled on an application on your phone. Fairly easy kit to install. And as you can see, it does all kinds of good colors. Here's a particularly cool shot. We'll let this run through some colors and show it off. Here you can see in the wheel wells, this truck does have a lift kit. I'm gonna back up a little bit just so you can see. That's kind of display we're getting right there in the wheel wells, nice full color. Here's our rear wheel well. Now we did discuss with this particular customer about putting a strip along the side of the truck there to fill in, but we were just interested in the wheel wells at this point with this vehicle. You could set this on any one particular color. You can even design your own flash pattern combinations if you wanted to. Uh, all kinds of options in this particular product. And here you can see a little bit of the other work we did. Now that's our front float mode. Let me dial that way down on the ISO and see if I can even show you what we're looking at. There we go. So we've got three Lin 8s in the front grille. We've got our front facing white mirrors and we've got an interior twin visor all flooding white right now now you can kind of see a little bit better now this is the forward flood mode just one of many options on this particular build we also have our warning mode as you can see here now that again is our newest version lin 8 light in the grill above the chevrolet logo there it's our wicked warnings auto flasher module on the forward facing white mirror spotlights and that is an interior two-piece visor made by phoenix industries and it is custom ordered but we can supply it if you email in and custom order it Here's a little side shot. You can see down the sides, we've got some lighting as well, featuring our mini thin in amber amber, running all down the side of this truck. We've actually got five of them on each side, three on the steps and one in each side step pocket. It's kind of a cool shot. Turn the ISO down just a little bit to accent the color. Of course, the bar on the windshield has many different patterns we've allowed adjustability i just put it on this one because it's one of the cooler ones here's a little better shot of that side there you know, we went with a quick double flash alternation on all these side lights and we just kept them unsynced to keep it a little bit wild the pattern will vary kind of between them they're all in the same pattern but uh, we wanted a maximum side warning this particular vehicle is going to be used in roadside response so uh high rate of traffic high speeds, dangerous roadways. So that's what we were going for. Alrighty, did some work around the back. First thing you can see is we went with our under tailgate LED strip. Now this is a 60 inch version. It has red and white it's tied into the signals on each side. So it'll do turn signals. Right now the four ways are on, as you can see. You have a dim red for parking. You have a bright red for your brake and turn signal. And then as you can see, when you exit the vehicle and shut it off or you put it in reverse, you're going to get that full white illumination as well. These particular strips, they fit real nice on the GMs. Uh, you do need to wire it up into the tail lights, though, to keep the trailer hitch from having airs. So just tap the back of the trailer of the tail lights and you'll have no issues. The other thing you'll notice right there is a couple of Baja Design S2 flush mounted in the bumper. We went with a wide fog pattern on that in a white and that's just uh, to illuminate any work area behind this vehicle. Not sure if you picked up on this yet or not, but there's a air hose reel where the spare tire went. So we got onboard air for anything we might need on roadside service. There's a compressor up in the bed and a toolbox, a couple of toolboxes actually. All right, here's the illumination in the shop from those lights. Plenty of illumination. Definitely lights up the shop quite nicely. Nice broad level beam pattern. So once again, around the back there, we've got those Baja S2s flush mounted in the bumper. Now that's one switch for 
rear. I labeled that one work light. By the way, we're using our Mini 6 switch panel on this build like we do on a lot of our GMs. Fits quite nicely under the left hand grab handle right by the driver uh, drivers and I've used it in quite a few builds. So we use that here. It's one of the switches, work lights, is doing this. And the other switch, rear flood, is also going to activate our wicked Slick Stick 6, which is right up on that back rack, tucked up nicely on the top of the back rack. And our wicked auto flasher module, steady on mode, which is currently wired into the rear cargo lights that are in the mirror. You only have those rear white lights in the mirror as shown, the side view mirrors. You'll only get those typically in a tow package uh, with the big larger mirrors. So if you have those white rear facing mirror lights like that on any of the GMs, we have a solution to you for running them at any speed in any gear as well as allowing them to flash. Now this is all the flood that we have capable in the back of this truck. Let me show you how it does its flash. So there's the broad view of it right there. What we were looking at is our auto flasher module on the rear facing white mirror lights as I said. We're also looking at that slick stick six up on the Pro Rack. We've got our LED low dome hideaways in the reverse lens. You can see. We also have that mini thin facing sideways in the rear step to go along with all those other amber mini thins down the side of the truck as well as a Lin 8 same light we used in the front grille facing rearward in that rear step. Here you can kind of see a little better all the mini thin ambers that are going down the side of the truck. And then around the back here, as I said, we've got that linear six, or Lin, I'm sorry, the new Lin 8, dual color Lin 8 in the step pockets. The LED HAW Duo low dome in the reverse lens and the Wicked Slick Stick up high. Try to turn this ISO down a little, show you a little bit more of the color. Now you can kind of see that those Lin 8s in the steps are synced. And uh, again, this is all obvious in person, but hard to capture on film. When you step back, the step pockets are synced to go amber and white together like that, and it's pretty evident in person. The reverse is just a quick wig wag back and forth, and the light stick up on the back rack, you can program any flash pattern you like. There's a whole bunch of different flash patterns. Again, I just picked this one because it kind of varies between a few different things. Here's a little side shot. You can see that mirror doing its thing as well. I'll try to put the ISO back to automatic for you. You can see in regular lighting. There's a little bit closer shot of the mounting that we use. You can see the Baja designs flush cut in the bumper right there. A lot of room behind the bumper. Nothing real scientific about how that's done. Using included hardware, it cut the hole. Uh, as far as the Mini Thin and the Lin 8 placement in the step pocket. Now this truck does have all the fancy sensors. So I have successfully drilled that Haw Duo into here. You can put a light right here if you like. Back mount one inch hole and put a haw duo or an echo haw back here but i wouldn't suggest putting anything here because this is right in front of the sensor for the blind spot so that's why we kept the mini thin forward of that test drove this truck didn't have any issues haven't had any problems so far but i would be leery to put anything back here and keep this area free so that's how we mounted this Fairly straightforward mounting here in this pocket as well. Just wanted to complete the look, put a nice flashing amber light everywhere we could. Fairly straightforward as well, putting the mini thins on the step bar brackets right there. Now normally here in Chicago, we don't recommend the step bar brackets, but this truck is destined for Florida where it lives its daily life. So there'll be a lot less snow and road salt in Florida. I imagine the occasional beach run might get a little salt water on it, but that's not an issue. It's the snow that destroys them here in Chicago. So we were able to do one on each step. Total of three. One of my favorite things about these back racks is how perfectly our six head stick fits in them. And it literally absolutely perfect between them. We use a simple flat bracket on the back side of it to attach it. In the wheel wells, we're using a strip product, but there are rock light products available. This is a huge industry, so there's many different options. All right, seam two in. Phones shut off there for a reason, so not sure. Anyways, RGB 
wheel well kit. Alrighty, as I said here in the cab, we're using our controller in a popular spot. I like to put them in the GM spot here because we slide the screws kind of right down between these panels. So very little visible damage if you ever were to take it out. And I snake the wiring right in that vent and down behind the back. So all of our connections are right back in here, behind here. And as you can see, this is kind of what we laid this one out as. I've got rapid flash on the upper left, and that's going to control all the flashing. Sorry, let me try to do this better. There we go. Sorry about that. So we've got rapid flash on the upper left. We've got move on the center left, and that's for the PA system. So we've got the PA system in here as well. We've got a pattern changer to change the patterns. We've got work light in the back, rear flood and front flood, and of course, our power switch. Now, on this particular one, we went with the nice Whalen PA system, and we slid that nice brain for that right down here under the seat, tucked in nicely. Yeah, here's an inside shot of the twin stick, just so you can kind of see how big they are and uh you know how they mount up in the inside here they use the factory headliner brackets i don't know if you've ever seen that before but this is what it looks like so you don't lose a whole lot of sight but if you're an extremely tall person you may want to second guess this stick choice i'll zoom it out here as you can see you, you lose a little bit but not too bad sun visors will still work and as i said it's mounts with special brackets right behind this so thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out all the still shots and further explanation. And if you want to see some more in-depth, check out some of my other videos. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. Here's a little note on the front end here with these Lin 8s. Now this is a spot on these 2500 HDs. Obviously you can see we mounted the light behind the grill. So that's good for maintenance. We mounted the light right to the upper support there the upper grill support i guess you would call that and uh your t3 will fit here your mini thin would fit here your lin 8 lin 6 will fit here and uh the way we did it we drilled all the way through and you can see i used that foil tape by nashua as an abrasion resistant and we also wrapped the wiring we tucked it up real nice and tight here so when we put that plastic panel back in it doesn't affect anything if you wanted to get a little bit more creative you could probably drill a hole in the bottom and run all this wiring inside this channel i might do that next build it's either way works fine we just went right through and came out the back but uh drill a few more holes you might might be able to go all the way internal on that wiring so that's the mount there i'm going to give you a little still so you can kind of see location it worked perfect for the grill for our need you can see i filed that lip down just a little bit there so the light didn't sit crooked and then here the foam gasket was able to take up that little bit. But that's kind of where I have them mounted. And they poke right through the grill really nice. So just a little note on that. Also on our Phoenix speaker here, um, this is our premium speaker. This is a 90 degree L mount that will come with either the Phoenix or the, the Wayland premium speaker. And what we did, that L mount is the same. It's the same mount for this speaker or the Wayland um, or our budget speaker uh, also has a mount like that. And we were able to come straight up and go right into the framework here of the grill shutter. And what we did is we simply removed a few of the top grill slats out of the shutter mechanism. And we left the rest. So that was enabled to mount the speaker there.